So here's my lock after reassembling, and I didn't even know it was supposed to do this, but it springs back. And if I try to jiggle it with just you know, a key that doesn't work or whatever, it doesn't turn. Now here we are on the other side, and when you turn it, it does not spring back. And it's because of all the crap in there. And, uh, what is it? Okay. It's locked right now. And I just barely turn the, tr put the key in there, and it turns. So this is definitely a security issue. So gummy in there. Yeah, this is a house key. Or no, no, this is a key to some other. Yeah, it's a key to some lockbox or something. And that's because of all that gummy crap in there. Um, so that's a good test to see if your locks really, really need to be cleaned or not. Try this, pull it back. You can see there's a screw. Unscrew that. There is a little washer on there. So I used some needle nose to grab it out of there so that the washer didn't fall into the little kind of void behind there. Um, it doesn't matter if it's locked or unlocked. Oh, yeah, I have a, another video that shows you how you can do that. <clears throat> um, so to remove this thing, you just push it, or you jiggle it a little, slide it forward. Replacing the seals is really easy. They just kind of pop off and pop on. When you're when you're reinstalling the handle, if it doesn't want to go, it's because of this little lip right here. So kind of whoops, put it back in there. If it doesn't want to slide backwards. You probably just need to push in right here and then it'll slide into place. And there's a little roll pin in there holding this fork to the uh, lock cylinder. You want to get a little nail and knock that out. Uh, you don't want to necessarily grab it and pull from this side. If you do, be sure not to crush it and it won't want to go back in. And then there's a little spring on there. We're going to take that off. Now put your key in the lock cylinder, and you can push slash pull it out. Okay, this is really nasty. Okay, look at all this crap that I got out of here with a little screwdriver. Toothbrush would be good, but some forceps and some little piece of cloth. Do a pretty good job. I'm gonna go over it one more time. I didn't realize this when I started this, but I think this is a security issue because those little uh, plates are supposed to spring out and they're not. And of course, they are what slide into those grooves and prevent the cylinder from turning. But this thing is so gunked up that they're not sliding out. They're not sticking out basically at all. I think you could just stick a flathead in there and probably open the door, probably open the lock. We'll see what happens after I uh, pull all the plates and uh, clean them off. And this part's pretty straightforward, just kind of push it on one side and pull it out the other side. Might have to jiggle it. I think all these plates are the same. Pause the video. I was wrong. They very much are different. I watched a, a video where a guy just pulled them out haphazardly but uh, then you will end up wasting an hour or more of your life figuring out how, uh, which one is which. Don't be like me. And then following these plates, I'm gonna pull out those little screws right there and then we're gonna clean everything up. Yeah, I used some brake cleaner and that worked really well. I still had to uh, scrape these out with a 
screwdriver a little bit. And of course you don't want to blast these into next week with the brake cleaner, so that was pretty tedious. I used dry flow, hopefully that'll work. I mean assembly is pretty much the reverse of disassembly. Do some channel locks or something like that. Just squeeze that pen back in there in a controlled manner. That's about it.